Welcome back to the next episode of The Old Guy in the Net. So, this is our last regular season game of this, this season. And uh, currently we're in third place and we have to win to secure our playoff position. If we lose, we could get knocked out. So this is a must-win game for us here tonight. Makes it two nothing here in the first period. Must win game. Two zip. Oh. Rob just took a slapper from the top of the circle and beat goalie Mario to make it four nothing. With the camera hanging from the top of the net, I often get players asking me about it. None like this one. This is Steve Howland. He actually comes right up to it, as you can see. Anyway, we got off to a good start here. Uh, 4 nothing, must-win game, as I've said earlier. And for some reason, we matched up well with the Green Hornets here. Suddenly, we could skate with them. We had confidence. The puck was down in their end. I wasn't as busy as usual. We weren't getting caught in odd man rushes. They didn't have all these breakaways, so... For whatever it is, I don't know why, but this team, the Green Hornets, we matched up well and we were firing on all cylinders in this one. The win last week against the Green Hornets vaulted us from fifth place all the way up to second place. And as I said, that was the last game of the season. The top four teams make the playoffs in this league. The Black Aces were playing the Red Army, and that left us second place Golden Knights against the third place Green Hornets. These playoffs are single elimination. Playoffs, do or die. He makes it 2 nothing. Not getting any shots. Played street hockey this morning. Feeling a little gassed already. It's the beginning of this game. This game started as if it was a continuation from the previous game. It, everything was the same. We jumped out to an early lead. We dominated play. It was almost as if uh, we had flicked a switch here at and uh, now we were playing like we were at the beginning of the season. Everything was going great, except for my shirt. I look like Quasimodo. My uh, arm pads obviously isn't sitting correctly, and nobody told me. So I go this whole game looking like the hunchback of Notre Dame. What's up with that, Golden Knight teammates? Rob makes it 3 nothing. Off the draw. Shoots one low, beats the goalie, low to the right.
you all right? No, I got pushed in there. Right there. Pushed him in the Are you sure? With the score 3-0 in the second period, I make this glove save, and it was kind of one of those turnarounds. They needed this. They needed to get back in the game. They just weren't beating me. and we, we felt it. The confidence was there. We weren't losing today. You know, they score one late, and um, that was it. We shut them down. Two weeks in a row, six periods of hockey, they scored one goal on us. Testament to my defense, uh, forwards coming back. And again, like I said, it was just, you know, we, for some reason, matched up well against this particular team. And it was like night and day. You saw a few episodes ago how frustrated I was with my defensemen. Here, no frustrations at all. They... They were picking up the wingers. The coverage was great out front of the net. I was able to see the puck. My guys weren't screening me. They weren't deflecting shots. And, um, you know, we were feeling really good about ourselves heading into the finals. We didn't know who we were playing yet. That game, the Black Aces and the Red Army followed our game. So we would watch that to see who uh, our opponent would be the following week. So another great win by the Knights. Everyone, another team win all the way out. Everybody participated. Good win. I like our chance to get credit. So I'm coming off a couple of good wins on Sundays and I'm feeling good about my game and I want to continue to carry on here in my Thursday night league with the Goons and I'm locked in a goaltender's battle with my friend counterpart at the other end, Chris Riley, who plays for the Ice Bandits. He has a great butterfly style. He takes away the bottom of the net really well. For some reason, our guys, um, I don't know, we haven't beat him up top too often, so here in this game again, he is stoning us. It is one nothing. It's late in the second until number 94 here wins a foot race into the corner and walks out and beats me to make it 2 nothing. Ice Bandits. Few minutes later, a bandit player uses my defenseman as a screen and beats me high glove side for a three nothing lead.
the save is a perfect example of what a hybrid goalie has to uh, contend with. Here, a nice butterfly save and then a butterfly push to the left would have lined me up perfectly for the rebound. But instead, it's like a half butterfly kick save. And then here I am left to scramble dive at the puck. It, it, it's not the way we want to be making saves goalie. We want to be balanced. This is not how to do it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We made that goalie look great. We, right? yeah, we gotta go up top on him. Everything we're shooting is low. In the next episode, it's championship week as my Golden Knights team takes on the Red Army. Be sure to check it out. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing. Peace, everyone.